All right, 23, we are going to take the derivative of tangent of e to the x over x plus 1. And here is the key. You need to know what's the derivative of tangent. So we have to you know, remember the table. Derivative of the tangent is secant squared. So we are going to begin by writing this down as secant squared of the inside states are the same, of the inside which is e to the x over x plus 1, like that. And now we are going to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Okay, derivative of this function right here. So you can just forget about the tangent for now. So to, multiply, uh, to get the derivative of this, we are going to use the quotient rule. And the quotient rule says, I'm going to square the denominator. So uh, let me do x plus 1 square. And I will take the denominator first, x plus 1, and multiply by the derivative of the top function. Derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So that will be just e to the x minus the top function, which is e to the x, times the derivative of the, uh, the bottom function. And let's see. The derivative of x is just 1. Derivative 1 is 0. So I'm pretty much just multiplying by 1. OK, so for the next step, as you can see, we have this like a big expression. We just have to um, simplify it and match with one of the answer choices here. Uh, this is the part that we can do something first. I have x plus 1 times e to the x. That we will be able to distribute the e to the x. Maybe you can do it backwards like this. And that will give you x e to the x plus e to the x. All right, so let's distribute that first. And now we can work out the rest. This part pretty much stays the same. Secant square of e to the x over x plus 1. Now multiply this with, this right here is x plus 1 parentheses square. And look at the top, combining terms on the top. The e to the x minus e to the x times 1, which is just e to the x. These two pretty much cancel out. These two cancel out. And I will just leave with x e to the x, like that. And that will do it. I think that's the most, uh, that's the best that we can do. So now we have to just look for the answer choices. And as you can see, choice B is exactly the same one as we have, All right? Even though we can put like a big parenthesis if you like. So this is the same as that, choice B for the answer.